how to analyze stability. So last time we touched a little bit on how to do stability analysis, looking at the norm of a matrix, right? Today we'll learn the most powerful method of doing stability analysis for PDEs. It's called uh, the von Neumann stability analysis. I'm gonna start with a very simple example. Still, we are solving this equation partial u partial t equal to a kappa times partial square u partial x square. And the Neumann stability analysis is not just for any domain. It's for domains without a boundary. So what does that mean? It means the Neumann stability analysis cannot analyze the effect of complex boundary conditions. It can only analyze the stability of the different of your discretization itself. A discretization of the differential equation itself instead of the boundary. If you want to also so so when you look at a differential equation and you want to know if it's stable or not, you want to both make sure the discretization of the PDE is stable and also the boundary condition is well posed. The discrete boundary condition is well posed. So for Newman stability analysis takes care of the first part. All right. So remember, in our first lecture, we did Fourier analysis, right? We split it U into a summation of different Fourier modes. K goes from minus infinity to infinity. U head of K times e to the j, which is the uh, square root of minus 1, times k times x. Mm -hmm. All right. So this, is, this can be done for periodic domain of x goes from 0 to 2 pi, right? So bound, uh, domains without a boundary means the best uh, way to think of a domain without boundary is periodic. So if you go out of one end, you come back to the other. In two dimensions, you can do a doubly periodic domain. If you, it's, it's like a computer screen. If you go out of the right-hand side, you come back from the left-hand side, like playing a video game. Mathematically, that domain, periodic domain in two dimensions is officially called a torus. Why? Because a one-dimensional periodic domain is like a circle, right? So you go out of one end, you come back from the other. A torus is like, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like that. So, so it's, there are two periodic dimensions. One periodic is along the ring, and the other periodic is around. Uh, it's around. It's, it's like a donut. So you, you have a double periodic domain. But in, in this case, uh, the Neumann stability analysis applies both to one D, two D, and three D. So let's first look at this problem in one in D. So when we when we express a function on the periodic domain as a Fourier series. That essentially decouples the different Fourier modes for a linear PDE. Because when I plug this into the equation, we get the left hand side becomes a summation of d u hat k dt e to the ijx. So that is that is the right hand that is the left hand side. And the right hand side becomes kappa times summation of u hat k when you take twice derivative the jk comes out of the exponential two times so jk square is minus k square times e to the jkx both are summation over k goes from minus infinity to infinity so if you match the coefficients The coefficients on this side is this, on that side is this. What you get is du hat k dt equal to kappa times minus k squared times u hat of k. So you know 
all the coefficients are decaying except for the k equal to zero one. And the bigger the k is, the bigger the magnitude of k is, the faster the coefficient decays. That is the Newman stability analysis for the continuous differential equation. But we can apply exactly the same thing for the discrete differential equation. All right, let's, let's look at after discretization. So after discretization, we have 